On this edition of the ABCs of Safety, we'll learn about hearing loss, which the Centers for Disease Control reports is the most common workplace injury. Hi, I'm Matt with SCT. So how much noise is too much, and what can be done about it? Make sure you're playing this video at a safe sound level, and let's dive right in. N is for noise. The CDC estimates that 22 million workers annually are exposed to damaging noise at work, costing an estimated $242 million in workers' compensation for hearing loss. Plus, U.S. businesses paid more than $1.5 million in OSHA penalties last year for not protecting workers from noise. Noise is measured in units called decibels, and OSHA's permissible exposure limit for workers averaged over an 8-hour day is 90 decibels which is about the sound level of a motorcycle at 25 feet away. NIOSH has released an easy-to-use iPhone app that gives users real-time feedback about the noise levels at their workplace. If you don't have access to more advanced noise monitoring devices, this is a great tool. So how can you control noise hazards in the workplace? Three general strategies are engineering controls, administrative controls, and personal protective equipment. Engineering controls involve modifying or replacing equipment, including choosing low-noise tools or machinery, maintaining and lubricating equipment, or isolating the noise source from employees. Administrative controls are changes in the workplace or work schedule that reduce worker exposure to noise. Examples include only operating noisy machines when fewer employees are working, limiting a worker's time spent near a noise hazard, or simply moving workers farther away from a noise source. As a last resort, PPE like headphones, earmuffs, or earplugs should be supplied to all affected workers. To ensure that your noise abatement strategies are working, OSHA recommends an annual hearing evaluation for workers who may be exposed to elevated noise levels. And that's a wrap on another ABC's A Safety video. If you missed any letters so far, you can catch up over on our YouTube channel. Next up, the letter O.